Hello, welcome to another GURPS combat example and this time I would like to showcase Fantastic Dungeon Grappling. I have it open in another window and uh, well it's only 4 or 5 pages long so there won't be too many rule lookups even though I am not very experienced with this system. So we have two combatants. The first one is a judoka who just has uh, judo and a small knife it's not ready it's uh, well uh, when things get hairy and has a uh, well high higher dexterity than the other guy and uh, just strength 11 i put all the control maximum and thresholds in the notes that should be useful uh, then we have the wrestler who also has a small knife just in case he has a lower dexterity but higher strength and he has the wrestling skill instead of judo and as you can see thanks to his higher strength and uh, to the wrestling skill he has higher control thresholds so he is harder to grapple and he grapples harder as well so who goes first the judoka goes first but we have to first uh, place the people oh, that's clear that can open in fight so the judoka will go oh that's six and the wrestler will go to two uh, wrestler goes there, the judoka goes there. And uh, let's actually go. Let's uh, turn the combat state. Like this. Right? Right. Now, let's begin combat. Okay, the judoka, he will just move 5 yards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, the wrestler, on his turn, will, I guess, just move like this. That's now round 2. The judoka steps in and goes into all-out defense very because uh, even though we are using fantastic dungeon grappling as far as i understand judo still can be used for judo throws so the wrestler what does he do instead uh, he performs a feint why not okay let's uh, roll his wrestling How much did he get? Okay, just made it and the judoka rolls his judo and so this feint was not successful. Uh, then on his turn the judoka will... will he grapple? Oh, he will just... Hmm. What should he do? He's more of a defensive person. So let's say that he stays in the defense. He still uh, does uh, all out defense parry. Uh, and the wrestler now, his turn, steps in. After all, he does not know the result of his feint. That's how it works. And he rolls wrestling to attack. He grabs with both hands and he just uh, goes for the torso, so there's no hit location penalty. Let's roll. He misses. Okay. Well, that was underwhelming. Alright, the judoka. Then he will... Uh, let's try grabbing the neck. The neck is grabbed at minus 3, if I recall correctly, because uh, the normal hit location penalty 
for grappling is, um, I mean, for striking is only minus five. So for grappling, it's minus three. Correct? Correct. So let's roll at minus three, judo, grapple. And he makes it, but the wrestler can still defend. And in Fantastic Dungeon Grappling, you can not only defend, you can uh, perform a grabbing parry. You can also do it in technical grappling and even in, uh, what is it called, a new take on grappling, but not in the basic grappling system. So you can uh, attempt to hold on the, the attacking limb after a parry. So let's parry then. Um, our wrestling parry... Oh, it doesn't calculate that. So 13 divided by 2 is 6 plus 3, it's 9. So let's roll against 9 to parry. And uh, against 9 minus 2. So to perform a grabbing parry against the limb. It's at minus 4 for uh, grabbing an extremity. Okay, let's... So we roll against seven. Oh, that's that's a bad roll. So the judoka grapples the neck with both hands, and now we have to roll control points. Control points are rolled uh, against basic thrust, and uh, there is a bonus that depends on the skill. But uh, for judo, it starts at dexterity plus four, and he only knows it at dexterity plus one. So there's no just basic thrust. So he applies two control points. Uh, come on. Why is it not working? Okay, let's uh, let's let's put the control points here instead of FP. So he is grappled for two control points, and that's uh, over his one tenth, his control maximum, so he is, but it's still under one half. He is at minus two to dexterity right now. Okay, the wrestler. What does he do? Hmm. In this situation, he could uh, attack. To so why is it? Ah, yes, it's uh, fatigue. That's control points, that's not fatigue. I wonder if it is possible to insert uh, control maximums for uh, GCS character sheet. That would be useful. Okay. Uh, he is going to just attack to break free. So he is attacking a grapple. That's just a normal grapple attack. He rolls 13, he just makes it, uh, but the judoka still can uh, defend, because uh, uh, it still counts as an attack. He cannot use his arms, because he, well, he is using, he, he is using them for grapple. Okay. Oh no, he actually doesn't hit because he is at minus 2 to dexterity. Yep. So that, that, that didn't work. The judoka, he attacks to improve this grapple. And uh, there is no hit location penalty to improve uh, an already established grapple. So he just rolls against 13 and fails critically. Okay, that, that wasn't unexpected. So let's open up the critical, unarmed critical failure table. Uh, unarmed critical miss. Let's roll 3D. Uh, 12. 12 means that hit trips. Uh, make a dexterity roll to avoid falling down. Uh, roll a dexterity minus 4 if kicking. Uh, okay, so. Let's roll against dexterity. Uh, he still... Oh. He does not lose uh, 
the control points, he trips, but he does not fall down. So that was just a waste turn for him. So the wrestler, what does he do? Um, the wrestler just decides to not to decrease his own control points, but to attack the judoka to gain control points over him. He rolls at minus 2 because he is grappled right now and he misses by 2. Okay. He is not rolling well. So the judoka again tries to develop his grapple. He succeeds, but uh, the wrestler can still defend. His arms are free, so he can parry or he could dodge. Okay. The, the parry would be more appropriate here, I think. He will roll against uh, 11, for 11, that's uh, parry of 8. So he rolls to parry against 8. And he parries it successfully. You know, he could have made it a grabbing parry and he would have succeeded, but the chances were not very good. So, what does he do instead? Fantastic Dungeon Grappling does not have any rules for committed or defensive attacks, but it's probably not that difficult to implement them. Uh, but that doesn't matter much. So, let's roll wrestling. But... Uh, yeah, just let's uh, grapple the torso at minus 2. Why not? He succeeds. The judoka will try to dodge. Because he cannot parry right now. His arms are occupied by the neck. And he misses. Uh, the wrestler now rolls uh, his so-called grappling damage. He rolls for control points, but now... Since he has wrestling at uh, dexterity plus one or higher, he gets plus one per die. So he actually rolls 1d plus one. That's equal to his uh, current swing damage. Well, it's seven. Yeah, okay, he applies a very strong grip. Uh, let's put the control points here. And that's over one half of the control maximum of the judoka, so he is at minus four to dexterity right now. And that's that's a lot. Okay, the judoka, what will he do? He only has two control points. And that's... Uh, he can spend them to give himself a bonus to attack, for example, to counteract the hit location penalties. Or add a bonus to his own defense. That's uh, two control points per one to active defense. Or he can uh, add them to injure. I mean, spend them to injure the wrestler. But uh, injuring costs uh, three control points per die. And he only has two. So what will he do in this situation? He will just... Uh, Try to break free and he will add the plus two to his uh, attack by spending the control points. So he basically he relinquishes his grip and adds plus two. So he is running at plus two for control points and minus four for being grappled at total minus two. He makes it. The wrestler now can dodge normally because he is not grappled anymore and he makes it so the judoka fails pathetically. What does the wrestler do? He could perform a takedown or a strangle or injure because he has accumulated a whole 7 points and that's a lot. But instead what he'll do? He will develop the grapple further. He wants to, I guess, 
grapple the judoka very hard. Let's roll against 13. He will not spend any control points right now. He makes it and the judoka. Okay. Can he parry? Yes, he can parry now, but he is at minus 4 to dexterity. His dodge is actually 7 right now. And uh, the parry will be... That's from 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4, plus 4, 8. So his parry is actually better than his dodge right now. So let's roll judo parry against uh, 8. He fails. So the wrestler again rolls 1d and applies 3 more control points. That's already 10. Uh, he is almost at minus 6 to dexterity. So the judoka, what will he do? I guess. I guess. He doesn't have that, that many options. He will try to. Can he, can he fast draw at minus 4? Yes, let's perform a fast draw at minus 4. Oh, okay. And since he is grappled, you know that uh, uh, when you are grappled, uh, Raiding a weapon requires a dexterity roll, so he failed it and uh, he just did not draw his knife. Uh, the wrestler on his turn, what will he do? Okay. He will perform a damaging takedown using the rules uh, under Kiss the Wall. It is uh, rolled as a normal takedown, so it's uh, a quick contest. And if he wins, he applies a lot of damage. Okay, let's do it. So, he will spend 9 control points. Uh, to perform well a very damaging takedown okay now let's see where is it okay take down roll a quick contest of strength dexterity or best grappling skill uh, he rolls uh, against uh, against 13 right or does wrestling give a bonus uh, give me a little, a tiny minute. Ah, yes, uh, since he knows uh, wrestling at dexterity plus 2, he has plus 2 to effective strength when performing a takedown. So he actually rolls against 15 here. The judoka will roll. Okay, he is at minus 2 to dexterity now because uh, he only has one control point on him uh, but his strength, his judo is the best choice he makes it by 4 but the wrestler made it by 6 so he, the wrestler wins and let's read the rules if you win the opponent takes their, their thrust minus 2 damage as if he they had slammed into the surface at move 2, with a bonus uh, equal to your per die control point bonus for any grappling skill. So, first, so the damage is based on the judoka's thrust. That's uh, my 1d minus 1 minus 2, that's 1d minus 3, plus 1 for higher wrestling of the wrestler, that's 1d minus 2, and plus 3 dice of damage for spending 9 control points. And that this totals up to 4d minus 2, and that's, that's a lot. 
Yes, and he is uh, lying down now. 4d6 minus 2. So the judoka is on the ground right now. And he takes 12 damage. First, he rolls against health for his. Uh, uh, for, uh, for taking a major wound, he is not stunned, uh, but then he also makes another health roll to stay conscious, and he fails it, and he is knocked out. See, that was very fast, and it wasn't that difficult. Control points are sort of a form of damage. I managed to show off a takedown spending control points for damage and uh, as a bonus to attack uh, some hit locations the fact that uh, developing a grapple uh, that has been already established uh, does not uh, take any hit location penalties and uh, different control point thresholds uh, different skills and so that was nice I might uh, show it off uh, again someday, but I also wanted to show off uh, a new take on grappling, the other grappling system, but that's for later. As for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.